So my name is uh, Ronald van Pol. I work at, uh, at Surfnet. Uh, this is a barefoot uh, switch, our latest uh, toy. 64 100 gig uh, ports uh, with the Tofino V4 uh, chip inside it. So what is uh, Surfnet? Uh, we are the national research network in the Netherlands. Um, we have the customers, uh, our customers are the, uh, the universities, uh, research institutes, uh, university academic uh, uh, centers. Um, we have our own uh, dark fiber throughout uh, the Netherlands, um, our own WDM e equipment and uh, IP and uh, Ethernet equipment on top of that. So I'm working at the network department. Uh, my task is uh, to scout for and uh, evaluate new network technologies. I always like to have get my hands uh, dirty. So we all, uh, also have a, a test bed, a nice and wide uh, test bed with uh, five pops in the Netherlands. Currently uh, with uh, OpenFlow uh, switches, some servers uh, on each pop, uh, interconnected uh, with uh, 10 gig uh, links. Um, and there is uh, three path uh, redundant uh, uh, links between any of two uh, of the five uh, pops. I've been working on uh, OpenFlow since uh, around uh, 2010 and uh, with uh, P4 since uh, the beginning of uh, the P4 project. So my interest in uh, our interest in uh, P4 is uh, uh, three ways. Um, one of them is uh, protocol uh, research and evaluation. So basically a platform for uh, reference implementation implementations of uh, new protocols uh, that are, for example, uh, uh, developed by the uh, ITF. Uh, currently that is, uh, as you probably know, it's quite difficult. Uh, you, wait, you need to wait uh, until uh, the, uh, the silicon is ready, the ASICs are ready for new protocols, uh, and then the uh, vendors need to implement it, and then you are uh, at least uh, five years, uh, 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 you've lost uh, five years uh, since uh, an idea started. So with uh, P4 and uh, open source layer two, layer three stacks on top of it, uh, we hope to uh, um, become less dependent on the, on the vendors. So that's, uh, that's one of them. The uh, second one is uh, telemetry, basically uh, what uh, uh, Victor showed uh, in his uh, previous uh, presentation. Um, and the final uh, thing that, uh, which I think is uh, interesting, especially for our universities, is uh, a platform for teaching uh, network classes, uh, especially again with the layer two, layer three uh, open source uh, stacks. So what we do, what we have at the moment uh, in our testbed, uh, we have a uh, uh, Netronome uh, CX uh, NIC. Uh, we just ordered uh, two additional NICs. Uh, the one we have is a two times uh, 10 uh, uh, port uh, NIC. We just ordered uh, two times uh, 25 NIC. And as I showed on the, the uh, introduction slide, we also have this uh, edge core uh, wedge uh, switch with the barefoot uh, Tofino uh, P4 switch in inside it. So why uh, are we interested in, uh, in this? Uh, basically, uh, um, um, we see it as part of uh, the smart edge. Um, you have the uh, VMs, containers, um, uh, at the, uh, at the uh, servers, uh, technologies like uh, DBDK, XDP to uh, get the performance. Because uh, our customers are universities, uh, Performance is always uh, uh, important for us, so we always aim at uh, the highest uh, highest uh, throughputs. So currently that is uh, 100 ticks uh, per second. Um, and EBPF and P4 uh, also play a role in that for the programmability. And that's uh, yeah, part of uh, yeah, what we call uh, smart networking, policy networking, whatever, uh, the broadest uh, sense uh, things like um, uh, what traffic uh, is uh, or what, uh, what entities are allowed to talk to other entities, traffic engineering, service function training, um, telemetry of course, um, and also something like uh, 
signaling between uh, applications and network. Uh, what does the application need from the network and what can the, uh, what can the net network offer to the application? This is basically this, uh, this ecosystem, uh, the VMs, containers on the server, uh, kernel with uh, XDP and eBPF, smart NIC in uh, the server that can do offloading uh, and can also be uh, programmed. And uh, towards uh, the, the wide area network, uh, P4 switches that are also programmable. Um, and both the, yeah, the um, the P4 switch, the smart NIC, and the kernel are programmable uh, with policy, telemetry, etc. Current projects uh, we are working on is uh, we are also looking at uh, the, the int uh, stuff uh, that uh, Victor uh, uh, showed you. Um, of course, P4 is only uh, the data plane. Uh, you also need uh, some kind of uh, control plane on top of that. So we are also looking at uh, especially open source uh, layer two, layer three stacks. SnapRoute is one of them. Uh, we're look looking at uh, free range routing uh, uh, fork of uh, Quagra. Um, and uh, finally, we are looking at uh, um, um, uh, per packet authentication. And the idea there is that uh, an application, uh, microservice, uh, client, maybe the smart NIC, uh, at, the, uh, at the edge is uh, inserting uh, an authentication header to the, to the packet uh, that is sent along, um, comes towards uh, our network in at the ingress. At the ingress uh, switch, we are looking at that uh, authentication uh, header uh, validated, and then we can validate uh, a certain service, user, whatever, and based on that, uh, we can send the packet along to a service, um, um, and it can be uh, anything, um, uh, special treatment uh, for certain uh, certain users, certain packets, whatever. Um, that's uh, what, uh, what we uh, have been doing. Uh, Thank you for your attention.